Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel. I am here doing your weekly love outlook for the 16 to the 20 skin of Jai for Sun, Moon, and B. And as well, not everybody be so fit. So let's go ahead and get started here. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in love for the 16th through the 22nd? Ooh. Some of you may be feeling like, um, like your higher power isn't hearing your prayers. You feel like you're losing, um, you're losing what you thought is everything you wanted, everything you had. Who is Taurus dealing with? This is somebody that you have children with, um, somebody that you have known since childhood, possibly, uh, most very possibly a Virgo. And Virgo or Taurus, you guys were just in uh, Virgo's reading as well. So go ahead and check that out. Can I get the situation, please? The overall situation. Way too many. Okay, bottom of the deck. All right, I'm going to put this up just a little bit. So you guys are getting ready to uh, end this relationship. You're getting ready to put the uh, burden that you've so heavily been carrying on your own back down because uh, everyone's emotionally drained. Nobody, um, you could have taken the time to get over some heartbreak that you've experienced out of secrets that this partner was keeping from you. And you're allowing this chapter to close. Most definitely check out Virgo's reading because uh, they had a lot of those same cards. <clears throat> Let me see here. We'll get a couple of clarifiers. Why is the nine out of cups here? Okay. So, yeah, you feel like you're feeling drained. You're emotionally drained because um, an, a fellow earth sign, possibly somebody who is uh, a little immature, um, they betrayed you. They, um, now you have the 10 of wands and the 10 of swords in this reading. They, you feel like stabbed you in the back. You feel like they hurt you and you're emotionally drained from it. Uh, yeah, very heavy Virgo in this reading. Let me see. Why is the 10 of pentacles here? And the temperance. And the King of Wands. Okay. So, um, yeah, you felt like at one point in time, this person was your everything. They gave you the happy family, the kids. <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, you were very close with their family. Um, but you have felt this person holding on tight to their emotions. And you as well have not been investing as much into this relationship. Because uh, you have... Uh, felt that this relationship is coming to an end. Uh, you have to gain some self-healing, some balance. Uh, this is this tower is coming down, so there's no need in fighting it anymore. Um, this is somebody who, at one point in time, was very loving. Was a family man. You know, people came to him for advice. They came to him or her. This is a general reading, so. Um, this person was somebody that you looked up to, um, but you're no longer as emotionally invested. You feel like maybe this relationship has run its course, especially with the Ten of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and then you have the Four of Pentacles and Four of Cups and the Tower. Taurus, um, it's time to allow this relationship to come to an end so you can move on, move forward, um, so you can gain balance in your life again, restore some healing uh, restore some balance and just get back to being you. You feel like you haven't even been yourself uh, lately. Yeah, this is definitely a Virgo you're dealing with. Um, this is somebody that you've known for a long time, possibly since childhood. But this Virgo, um, this is somebody you have children with. They had a third party. 
um, they're no longer fighting for this relationship to, uh, to continue with you because they're ready to let this chapter of their life end as well. They're ready to move forward. Um, they're, they're discontent. They're, they're not looking at their blessings. Um, they're looking at what they lost and they're going to move forward, um, and use what they know, use what they have, the tools they have to make the life that they want. Um, this Virgo has the moon as well. So this person, um, has been keeping secrets from you, uh, and your overall situation was a third party and you're trying to fight to keep this relationship together. You feel like the world's against you almost, Taurus. It's a very heavy energy this week. You're coming to terms with what happened in the past is what I'm hearing. Why is a hangman here for Taurus? You are coming out of this situation enlightened though. You you are being, yeah, there's that King of Wands again too. He could have Aries in his chart. Um, I'm getting Aries moon, especially with the moon card being with uh, the hermit. So this could be Virgo sun, Aries moon, but um, you're... You're awakening to what this connection actually was. Why is the death card here? Yeah, you're going to allow this chapter to end. You're going to uh, allow this transformation because this gift from the universe is here for you, but you're not going to receive it until you allow this transformation to happen, till you end uh, this relationship that is not serving you any longer. Wow. And once you do, once you transform, you're going to go back to being that loving, nurturing person that you are, Taurus. You're going to regain strength on your throne. You're going to be able to provide for yourself and you're going to be stable again, especially emotionally stable. With the Ace of Cups, you have many great things waiting for you, Taurus. I mean, you have the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. You just have to get through this transformation. You have to allow this period of shedding to happen. And you're going to come, it's going to come to light what you need to do with this Aries or this fire sign male um, anywhere in their chart, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Um, I'm getting heavy Virgo and heavy Aries. So um, you're going to be okay. You just need to allow this tower to fall. Allow this tower to come down so you can get healing again. So you can find balance again. Let go of what no longer serves you. Let go of what stabbed you in the back. Let go of what brings you down. And allow this new you to come forward. What advice do you have for Taurus? Whoa. Okay. The prison wave. Self-sabotage and poverty conscious. You're holding on to this relationship because you're worried you can't make it on your own. You're worried financially you will not be able to survive. You won't be able to live your lifestyle that you're used to living. But all you're doing is sabotaging yourself. You're keeping yourself from what you're destined to have. And what you're destined to have is the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. But until you stop self-sabotaging your future, that will not come in. You will have enough to make it. Your second card that came out, the altar priestess, preparation, prayer, and ritual. So um, pray to the heavens. Pray to your angels to help you get through this and set your sacred ritual and, and prepare and you will move forward successfully. What advice do you have this week? Retreat. That's what popped out. It is time for you to disconnect from the world and retreat. It's time for you to disconnect and allow yourself to heal. Bring in this healing that you so desperately need so that you can once again get on that throne and nurture and love and be confident and um, and just get what you deserve. You don't deserve this relationship that you're currently in. You, This is what you deserve, Taurus. So allow this transformation. Allow things that no longer serve you to fall away. And you will find success. You will be able to make it on your own. Um, as long as you believe in it. Believe in yourself. Uh, because you have great things coming in for you. So let go of this Virgo or this fire sign. Or whoever it is that betrayed you. This is somebody that most definitely betrayed you. And left a heavy burden on your heart. It's time to lay that burden down and close this chapter out. So Taurus, I wish you luck this next week. Um, have the strength and the courage to push forward to go after what you want. But not only go after what you want, 
Um, go after what you deserve because uh, now is the time to do it. Just set your, um, you know, pray to your angels and um, and allow those blessings to come in. So as always, Taurus, I hope you have a beautiful week. Love, light, and God bless.